in one of uh, the questions that I have solved, uh, this was the question and this is the input and we found out uh, answer to be uh, as shown here for positive 20 volt the back positive output was uh, output was positive 15 volt and for negative 20 volt the output was negative 20 volt uh, and the wave shape it followed is sinusoidal wave shape but a student has some doubt whether my answer is correct or not. So to verify this, I have taken help of a very good circuit simulator from first ed and I'll so, show uh, you I'll be using this uh, circuit answers. simulator. The first thing we'll do is uh, we'll go to the Google and uh, type firsted.com and then this will appear. So simply go to the circuit simulator applet. and uh, this uh, will appear so a couple of things uh, you you can do uh, first of all we'll go to the option here and we'll change the background from black to white so this is white also we'll go to file and toggle full screen so we are in full screen mode and then uh, this is already given so we'll we'll uh, go for a new project or new blank sheet so we have got a new blank sheet and now we'll draw our circuit so first of all input source now you can see there are so many input source we'll select add ac voltage source with two terminal so AC voltage source with two terminals and then uh, I'll click or uh, select a couple of registers so add register so this is one register second register third register also we'll go to draw and now select uh, a diode which is an active component so add active component add diode i'll select a diode here and with this we need to connect a battery dc battery so draw input source and now we'll go for add voltage source two terminals so this is actually dc voltage source so we connect a DC voltage source, but this is upside down, so we'll right click and swap terminal. So now this is what I want, and now we'll, we'll connect a couple of ground terminals so again, input source, add ground. So we'll add a ground here, add a ground here. And I'll have two grounds for the voltmeter that I'll connect. So two grounds. Draw, add wire to connect whichever is not connected. So this and this. So the circuit is complete. Now we need the voltmeter. Again, we go to draw. Now output levels. And here, add voltmeter. So add a voltmeter here, and also add a voltmeter here. But this voltmeter has positive terminal close to ground. I want positive terminal on the other side. So right click, swap terminal. So now it is proper form. And again, now connect with wire. This is connected. Similarly, this one and this one. And finally, we need to add scope. So we right click here, view in new scope. So we got a scope here for the left uh, voltage. 
and we'll also connect another scope right click view in a scope so now we have two oscilloscope one showing the input signal another showing the output signal but because i want to compare i have to have uh, them combined in one so combine and now these are uh, in one scope but uh, one thing i forgot is i have to in the question we had the input signal at the level of 20 volt so let me edit this this is 5 uh, given as the standard so we'll write it 20 so this is 20 frequency i want to just adjust a little bit although in the question we had 1 kilohertz but we'll just write 10 hertz just so that we can easily see the display so apply okay and now you can see the uh, display here if you have two levels of signals the the green one is the input signal which is 20 volt and the red one is the output signal which is 15 volt at the peak point and at the negative both the signals are same level so this is what we had concluded in our uh, result and so i hope you have been able to follow this and uh, uh, you can easily draw this type of a circuit you can slow down the speed from here to exactly watch what is the voltage level you can even pause and see the voltage levels at the negative it will remain same again run if you slow down the speed the voltmeter uh, don't go towards the positive let me yeah now it is showing the positive as well so run a stop negative and now it is positive you can see the positive there is a difference so that's all i have explained in the question so I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.